as we prepare to resume operations with the Adrian plant, we want to take this time to review the quality focus for the restart and refresh you on quality basics. Before we start, I just want to say welcome back. We hope you and your families are safe and healthy. As we resume operations, we want to take a look at the quality focus. Our number one priority is to protect our customers. We must deliver only high quality product to our customers. We must follow our control plans. No bypass allowed, no degraded mode, and no shortcut with error proofing or pokey yoke devices. We must follow our processes. Strictly following our work instructions, self quality controls, checklists, and records. We must maintain our material and our components. We will be monitoring closely our existing inventory and the conformity of the incoming goods. We must have a renewed quality awareness. Continue to apply our six quality basics at all times. Remember to inform, remind, control. Quality is a shared responsibility. Every one of us is in charge to ensure the quality of the services and products delivered. It's only by applying the basic quality principles that we will reach excellence. The discipline to follow our quality processes cannot be compromised. Why do we care about quality? We make fuel systems. Our products are safety critical items. Every part we sell ends up in a vehicle that transports people. Please keep this in mind as you complete your assigned work at Plastic Omnium. Plastic Omnium has manufacturing facilities all around the world. 25% of all new vehicle production in the world contains a Plastic Omnium fuel system. Let's review quality mindset to the quality basics. I accept only good work from others. I follow the process. I deliver what I promise. I maintain my working environment. I solve problems and learn from mistakes. And I strive to continuously improve. Now let's review the six quality basics in more detail. Number one, nonconformity management. In looking at these pictures, do you think these are good examples of nonconformity management? Hopefully you all said no. On the left hand side, you can see our suspect component containers full of FDMs, which clearly demonstrates that we did not follow standard reaction. Also in the top, you can see this was being used as a trash can. And the bottom picture shows a bunch of um, components in the container, but there are no suspect component labels. If you do have suspect components, please be sure that you're using the suspect component label. Please include the date, the shift, and your name or initials. And if it's a vendor issue, make sure you mark it as such and write a brief description on the line as to what the problem is. This allows us to go back to the supplier and get them to implement corrective actions quickly. On the right hand side, you see the component non conforming management work instruction. These are posted at every line with the red component containers. In this picture, this is a good example of non conforming management. We have the red bin being used for scrap tanks. When you have a scrap tank, make sure you write the word scrap on the tank. Place it in the red bin. You do not need to circle the defect or write a description of the defect unless the reason is contamination. We do not want to recycle the contamination. Circle the contamination area and write contamination on the tank where it is very visible. For non conforming management, it says identify suspect components and parts. Again, it's the label, the date, the reason, and your initials. 
I always segregate bad components and parts in red boxes or in red containers. And I know and respect local rules to manage nonconformity. Quality basics number two, standard quality work. Standard quality work says, I follow the process. Standard quality work includes PPE requirements, order of operations based on the staffing level, cycle time, and KPCs. Let's go over the key characteristic symbols. First one is SC, significant characteristics. The effect for the Customer is degradation of primary function. The vehicle is operable, but at a reduced level of performance. Next is CC, critical characteristics. For the customer effect, it's loss of primary function. Vehicle is inoperable. It does not affect safe vehicle operation, though. Next one is SR, the inverted delta, safety and re regulatory characteristics. The customer effect is potential failure mode affects safe vehicle operation and or involves a non-compliance with government regulation with warning. It's important to know where to find your key product characteristics. They can be found on your standard work. They can also be found in your detailed work instructions. For standard quality work, it says I respect and follow the work instructions, process controls, and checklist requirements. I do not deactivate pokey oak or error proofing systems, and I respect my TPM activities. I follow and respect traceability for my product. I use only controlled documents on the shop floor. All of my paperwork is complete and correct, making sure that I've circled the part number, I've written down my clock number, the date, my shift. All the test items are filled in properly. And if your line is down, you write down. Quality basics number three, customer requirements. All of our fuel systems go through these six processes, storage, gauging, filling, controlling, venting, feeding. These are all examples of not meeting customer requirements. The first one is a disengaged fuel line. We also have a sunken in tank, blow by on the E-ring, split seam, and then we have the customer label printing issues. As you're processing the tanks at each station, please be sure that you're looking at the tank. And if you find an issue, the non-normal, please escalate it quickly so we can get it corrected. Label issues continue to be an issue. If you see a smudge line through the GM 2D barcode, or you see dotted lines on a standard barcode, make sure you're escalating quickly. There's something wrong with the printer, or we have the wrong ribbon, or the wrong labels, we need to make sure that it does not get to the customer. These labels would not be scanned there. As you come back to work, please remember not to stretch the seals in this manner. Also, when you're looking for double beads, please be sure that you're looking around the full circumference of the valve, looking for the tank mount and the component mount, the entire perimeter. For customer requirements, it says I know and respect customer critical characteristics or KPCs and the specific requirements. I deliver only high quality to reach customer indicators and satisfaction. I understand the impact of my work on the product and for my customer. And I respect measurement frequency and methods defined to my process. Quality basics number four, working environment. 5S means to sort, to stow, to sweep, to standardize, and to sustain. Tanks on the floor and tanks on top of component containers are not acceptable. Please make sure that you're putting any scrap tanks in the red bins and 
Other tanks should be in the blue bin. Cleaning out under the machines is very important during your 5S to prepare for the next team coming on shift. And also cleaning out at the end of your shift inside the machine centers. Someone on your team will have lockout tagout training that can safely go inside the machine center and clean out any components that have fallen. It also gives us an idea if there's any broken components. If we can find them quickly, we can promptly put product on hold and do a sort if needed. And looking at these pictures, we can see that things are properly 5 us Items are properly marked on the floor and they're all in their right places. For working environment, it says I respect the 5 us and the organization defined for my workplace. I protect and cover the products and components which are not being used. I never put tanks, molded materials, and components on the shop floor. And I only use calibrated measurement devices. Please remember that red caps are required for all welded whip. For molded whip requirements, see your product specific work instructions. All components must be covered to prevent contamination, except when in use at the line. If your line is going to be down for a shift or more, they must be covered, even if loaded at the line. This requirement covers all components, raw material, and regrind. Quality basics number five, problem solving. For problem solving, it says I react quickly and respect the local escalation process defined. I stop my work and inform my direct manager in case of leakage and double bead issues. I stop and inform my direct manager in case of three recurrent quality issues during my shift. And I respect and follow containment actions launched due to customer or internal issues. Each line has an alert board. Posted will be engineering change alert and quality alert. Please remember you're responsible to check your alert board at the start of each workday. Review the quality alert, ask questions if needed, either from your supervisor or quality, and sign in dates. New quality alerts have been posted at each line in preparation for the restart at Adrian Plant. Please be sure to review your quality alerts at your line prior to the start of your shift on the first day back. Quality basics number six, continuous improvement. We follow the plan, do, check, act at Plastic Omnium. We do many audits. By doing audits, we minimize our risk. This is the way that we can get to excellence. For continuous improvement, it says I perform only work for which I'm trained and qualified. I perform actions based on internal and customer issues to continuously improve. I drive and propose actions to improve process and operational indicators. And I'm aware and understand the modifications affecting my process and product. Just so some last words. Quality is everyone's responsibility. Our six basics must be respected anywhere, anytime. And quality basics is the path to reaching excellence. This concludes our review of the quality focus on resuming operations at Plastic Omnium Adrian Plant and our quality basics review. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or anyone in quality. Once you're done watching this video, please comment on Facebook or YouTube noting that you viewed quality basics prior to returning to work. Thank you all for your commitment to quality at Plastic Omnium Adrian Plant. I wish you all to stay healthy and safe.